Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, Peg Maddox is with us right now. She's got a very important job to the youth around this area. And she is the executive director of Napa Learns. Nice to see you, Peg. Nice to see you, too. Uh, you know, when we talk about education and learning, I told you I've had eight children. Mm. And uh, there's so many different ways children learn. Right. But now we're trying to find new ways, aren't we? That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we're looking at uh, pre-K through 14, actually, two years of college in Napa County to transform all education for all, every single child in Napa. Okay. Now, when a child comes into kindergarten now, they haven't just been drawing with crayons. They've already been looking at games. They've been looking right. at hand games, all kinds of electronic stuff. How does a teacher take those children and, and divert their education in the right direction? Well, we capture their interest in technology and use it in our kindergarten classrooms. Uh, the challenge is that a lot of kids from poverty don't have those kind of games or technology or even books in their homes. And so that's the problem we're trying to solve is um, getting the uh, kids of poverty that are in Napa, and we have about 51% um, educated before they even come to school to um, be ready to start with all the other kindergartners. Really? That yeah. higher percentage? It is. A lot of people don't know that. We have about 80% poverty in uh, Calistoga. And everybody thinks wine country and wealth and resorts. Absolutely. But we have about 30% um, ELL, which is English language learners. And those kids come to school, don't, they don't speak English, and we have to help them. And then the poverty. Okay. So they come in, is, it's an English learning problem as well as financial problem, is that right? Right. Combination and, and, and of poverty. both things. Yeah. Poverty, uh, parents of poverty don't understand how to teach their children when they're young. Um, because they haven't had that They themselves. haven't had it. They don't have yeah. books in their house. And yeah. uh, five-year-olds from poverty come into school with about, um, they're saying tw 20 million words fewer they've heard and two years behind in vocabulary. They don't even know the words that the yeah. other kids have. This puts a tremendous burden on the teachers. It is. It's, it's very, very difficult. And in Napa uh, Unified, we have um, you know, budget reductions, and so our class sizes are pretty large. I went into a kindergarten the other day with 30 kids. That's really yeah. hard for one teacher. So the iPads that we use really help the teachers um, add to their, their um, bandwidth, as we call it. Yeah. Okay. Well, the kids, even without money, though, have been exposed mm -hmm. to computers or certain things. Maybe not in a home, but they're around, you know. Uh, games that they hold in your hand and you know run like this mm -hmm. uh, they've, they've been exposed to that kind of thing does that affect their learning positively or negatively well it makes them comfortable with technology so of course you see that you'll see the little boy in the doctor's office with his mother on her right. phone right absolutely yeah so yeah. they're very comfortable with technology and we start with four-year-olds in the summer before kindergarten and they just take off they love it start with four-year-olds four-year-olds preschool yeah yeah it's amazing what they learn yeah at that age in, in you know. fact, the teachers were so surprised, and many of our teachers, kindergarten teachers, weren't really um, accepting of the program. Uh -huh. uh, some pioneer teachers did it, and now they, we couldn't take the iPads away from them now. Okay. They love well, it so puts much. a burden of responsibility on those teachers, mm -hmm. too. They have to stay on top of it, they right? They have to learn it, right? They have that's to be right. technology uh, educated mm -hmm. in order to do it. You know? And that's I've, part of what we provide is the professional development. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Peg, nice to have you here. Um, Peg Maddox is our guest, and she is the executive director of Napa Learns. Thank you very much for joining us.